CVD, AMT, Planetary, Gearbox Technologies, obviously, just like DCT. And this venue is going to become the first car in India to have an engine option, in this case, the one liter turbo petrol, to be offered with three transmission options. The fully automatic, of course, the dual clutch transmission, the manual, and the third one that comes somewhere in between. This new transmission is IMT, or the Intelligent Manual Transmission. Now, interestingly, we first heard about it at the Auto Expo, at Kia's stall, because that's where it was announced that it would debut on Kia's upcoming Sonnet, which just so happens is a direct rival to the Hyundai Venue. It's so hard to look away from a good sibling rivalry, isn't it? You don't want to look away and look at the technology behind it all, but should we? Nah, no point, right? Obviously, there is reason to dig deeper. <sighs> ah, grand items are awesome. Of course, we always had a grand item with us. You didn't see it earlier? Oh, anyways, the point is, you got to pay attention to this IMT because it has one of the coolest bits of the manual transmission. A manual gear lever, proper one. So, which means you can go first, second, roll through the gears, enjoy that action without having to worry about clutching in and out. How is that possible, right? You have to promise me that you'll stick with us for the next 30 seconds. Even when I say it's because it's related to related to it's related to the automated manual transmission okay fine and don't just sign it off there because it has simpler mechanicals and for that it is mostly going to be better than it is well so the intelligent part of this transmission is its electronically controlled clutch which is also called as clutch by wire and that is why the system is simpler because there's no motor or actuator for actually making gear changes that is being done by you the only setup is there for the clutch which is why this will be cheaper than an amd and that's why it's a big deal and along with a missing third pedal the cost saved from the actuator hyundai will have saved a lot of cost which they will give back to the customer in the form of gold coins gold coins did you only start paying attention just now if not Rewind, right? And for those of you who were paying attention, obviously there are no gold coins involved in the making of the IMT, right? How does the clutch know when to open and close? Well, the answer is simple. There's a sensor in the gear lever mechanism, which every time when you push the gear lever for a shift, senses that and sends a message to the clutch to respond accordingly. Now, depending on the engine speed, the ground speed, the gear you're in and which way you're shifting, it will instruct the clutch to match up accordingly to ensure smooth shifts. Now, because you're controlling the gear shifts yourself, you're timing them, the concern regarding head nod, which is something that we experience in AMTs, will be vastly reduced here with the IMT. And the other thing why this is a particularly appealing system is that it will also be just as fuel efficient as a manual. And lastly, of course, like we said earlier, the cost of this will be lower than an AMD, which typically would be around 35 to 40,000 rupees for budget cars. So sitting somewhere lower than that makes this that much more accessible as a technology. So are you interested in the IMT? Well, we are. It certainly seems like a piece of technology that we're going to see a lot more of, not just in Hyundai and Kia cars, but from other manufacturers as well, for its advantage in terms of cost, simplicity, uh, convenience. But we do have a lot of questions as well. For instance, people who've driven manual cars moving to this, how easy would it be for them to adapt? Or for anybody else who's used other automatic cars, because you're doing part of the work. Will your left foot agree to just sit back and relax? Well, we'll have to wait and see. And then there are other aspects like safety. What happens if you accidentally go from fifth into second, right? Well, all these things we'll come to know when we get to drive the Hyundai Venue and it is going on sale shortly. Prices will also be announced and we're looking forward to seeing how much of a difference there really is between the manual and the IMT versions.